good afternoon. This is the uh, Red Rotiner farm farm by David Roth. As you can see, he's already got his irrigation pipe out for this year. Um, got a very respectable corn crop here. I'm out here taking a look at the hail damage from the storm that happened a week ago. These rows here head north and south through the farm. And as you can see, there's some shredding to the leaves. But we already have new growth here, which uh, is good news. Very good news. I don't see any insect pressure. and We've got very strong stalks. I don't see any bruising from the hail on the stalks either, which is a good sign. Just finished up speaking with Tom Babel down at Babel Insurance, and he informed me that we would probably be looking at a two to three percent loss, which equates to about five dollars an acre for the forty percent of the crop that you have covered. So we are uh, waiting for the adjusters to come out, uh, and we're just going to have a foliage loss, which is the leaf loss here that you see. But as I mentioned, we've already got new growth right there. Perfectly good leaves. This corn is uh, probably about four and a half, five foot tall. And uh, so we're still looking at a growth stage of probably about V89, V10 maybe. Somewhere in there. Some of this leaf shredding, like I said before, could also come from the wind and the direction the, the rows are. Um, it seems to me that the rows going north and south look a little better than the rows going east and west. So, um, and from what I understand, this storm was heading um, northeast at a pretty good clip. In fact, about a mile, or uh, two and a half miles north e northwest of uh, Tyner North, there were fields that were completely wiped out. So, we are very fortunate, very very fortunate. I think we look pretty good in comparison to where we could be. I think we've got a very respectable corn crop out here, folks, and I think it's going to turn out just fine. We're lucky it happened now. Um, instead of in about three to four weeks when we're tasseling and trying to fill ears. And uh, corn's a very resilient plant. It's going to come through this just fine. Like I said, there's some more new growth. Um, I think we look pretty good. A lot of this damage could have been caused by wind. As you can see, it's windy out here pretty much all the time. So, <laughs> this corn takes a lot of abuse through the year, and that's what uh, it's a, makes it such an impressive plant. It can take quite a bit before it really uh, gets destroyed. But this is, I think we look great. I don't, I'm not disappointed in this at all. In fact, David Roth does a very nice job for us every year. This farm is very consistent. Um, so 100% gravity irrigated. There is no pivot on this farm. Like I said, I think the rows heading north and south took it a little bit better than the rows heading east and west. And I think we'll go over here and take a look at some of the rows heading east and west here in a second, if I can get through here. Um, I noticed it on Kmore also where the, seemed like those rows heading East and West were a little tougher than maybe some of the uh, other rows. And as you can see, this row here heads East and West, and you can see there's a little bit more shredding on these leaves. And of course, it could be the difference in the hybrid and um, the growth stage. But I think uh, other than uh, other than the shredding, I think we're going to be just fine. We've already got new growth coming. You can see it. Um, still have good healthy stocks. No bruising to the stocks, which is would be detrimental, but I think uh, all in all we came through this just fine. Again, this is Red Rotiner, farmed by David Roth on June 26, 2014.